Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by financetechnicians.com. The topic under consideration is the Trendy Table Company. In relation to the Trendy Table Company, this is a sample company that has been created in order to facilitate future tutorials. And in those future tutorials, we're going to look at the bookkeeping process and concepts. And we're going to look at these concepts and the processes through the lens of the Trendy Table Company. So we need to get very familiar with this particular company because we're going to come across it time and time again in future tutorials. Now, in relation to recording the financial transactions of a company, what can be very helpful for you when you're doing the bookkeeping is to have an understanding of the operational activities of the business. And what we need to do is just briefly explore the type of activities the sample company, i.e. the trendy table company, is involved in. And this will give you a better understanding when you come to the actual recording of transactions in the books of account for this particular company. So the first thing we need to be aware of in relation to the company is what they actually do. And basically, they buy and sell tables. And in relation to the tables they buy and sell, they have three different product lines. They have conference tables, they have office tables, and they have kitchen tables. So obviously these are aimed at different customers. They're also at different price ranges as well, as you'll see when we look through the paperwork relating to the company itself. In relation to where they get their products from, they have suppliers that supply them with these tables and there are two suppliers in relation to the trendy table company so they're not manufacturing the product in relation to customers they have three customers now in a real life company you'd have a lot more suppliers and a lot more customers but based on this sample company you'll get an understanding as to how to process the transactions in relation to buying and selling of products which is very important especially when you come to record the transactions in the books of account. They also have a bank account. They only have one bank account, so it's just one bank account in one currency. And this, again, will allow us to look at things like bank reconciliations. It will also help us look at how to post transactions in and out of the bank account and the impact that has on the books of account. And they also employ staff. And so by employing staff, we'll be able to look at entries for payroll as well. In future tutorials, we are going to look at the source documents relating to the Trendy Table Company. And this will give you an, an opportunity to see how it actually works to process the data from actual source documents and record the transactions in the books of account for a specific company. In a previous tutorial, we explained what source documents are. And source documents are documents that detail the financial and or non-financial transactions of an organization. So examples of a source document would be a purchase invoice, a sales invoice, or a bank statement, for example. In relation to the source documents that's going to be used in future tutorials, it's important for you to be aware that the Trendy Table Company is going to have two sets of source documents that we're going to look at. So the source documents that are dated 2019 are purely going to be used to show you examples of what source documents look like, what type of information that they contain. And that's all they're going to be used for. The second set of source documents in relation to the Trendy Table Company are going to be dated 2020 and the documents that are dated 2020 are going to be used to actually record transactions so we're going to use the data on these source documents dated 2020 for the trendy table company to record transactions in the books of account so record transactions in the books of account of the business and the future tutorials will go into considerable detail about how that is done. And just one thing to bear in mind, we're going to make an assumption here to simplify the process for learning purposes. We're going to assume that the Trendy Table Company commenced 
trading on the 1st of Jan 2020. And that means that we can avoid the complexity of dealing with opening balances. So just be aware of that when we look at recording transactions in the books of account, the assumption is that the business, the trendy table company, commenced trading on the 1st of January 2020. We have now concluded this tutorial. Thank you for watching.